This is day one of setting up my drum set. I recently bought a large drum set. Here's a picture and another, but as you can see, it's not set up yet. There's no drum set there. So let's start with the throne. Let's go. Easy, just screw the seat into the legs. Oh boy, I don't know if we can show that here. Anyways, moving on, adjust the seat height and slab that baby right where you want to sit. Now we're on our way to a drum set. I can air drum really well this way, as you can see. I'm playing the drums! Stick around for day two and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day two of setting up my drum set. Last time we set up the throne, but today is snare time. Snare time! When I got this kit, it actually came with two snare drums. The first one is a 14 by 7 DW snare. I didn't get a chance to play on this drum actually when I purchased the kit. Um, it also has a three position snare, which is really awesome. And the second snare drum is the original 14 by 5 maple snare that came with the kit originally. 14 by 5 PDP maple snare. Nice. First, let's just get the stand generally set up with the right positions. Then let's get a bit more refined with it. And of course, gotta slap that baby right where you want it. Quick, air drum snare break. I'm a dork, I know. Okay, we're back. I'm still trying to decide whether I wanna use the maple or steel snare. So let's do a quick sound comparison, shall we? I think as of now, I prefer the original maple snare. So we'll move forward with that. Stick around for day three and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day three of setting up my drum set. Let's add some cymbals, shall we? Today is hi-hat time. Hi-hat, baby. I have these beautiful 15-inch Zildjian A custom hi-hats that pair wonderfully with the DW9000 hi-hat stand. This stand is apparently fantastic, but Lord, it took me forever to figure out how to set this thing up. Tightened a few screws here and there, adjusted the legs, wink, wonk, then moved on to adding the hats. I also have this super fancy quick release hi-hat clutch that I didn't really know how to use. She's so boingy. What the heck does this thing go together? Uh, oh, fancy. Bruh, stop it. We know what you're doing. Finally figured it out and put it all together and slapped that baby right where I wanted it. Of course, we had to do a little sound test also. around for day four and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day four of setting up my drum set. Bass drum. This is not easy to carry like this. You heard him. Today we set up the bass drum. Pretty simple really. All we need to do is fold out the legs and extend them to length. Next we can place the drum where we want it. Wait, where was the explosion? All right, no more funny business. Now I gotta add the DW9000 bass drum pedal to the drum. But wait, there's more. That's right, double pedal, baby. All right, sound clip time. Gotta fix that pesky slave pedal drift at some point. Anyways, stick around for day five and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day five of setting up my drum set. This doesn't particularly feel right. Not that kind of ride cymbal, buddy. That's right, today we're setting up our ride cymbal. So watch me struggle to set up the cymbal stand. <laughs> we just popped my hand. Okay, finally got that sorted. So let's slap that baby right where you want. Guess I should actually show you the cymbal also. It's a 22 inch Zildjian K custom ride cymbal. Beautiful. Let's unscrew the wing nut, place the cymbal, re-screw the wing nut, and now we're ready to play. and easy really. Anyways, stick around for day six and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day six of setting up my drum set. We're adding our first tom today. Tom time! We got a tasty 14 inch floor tom we get to add to this bad boy. But first we need to adjust the legs and then again and then again and then again and then again and then again. Okay, you get the idea. Let's place it generally where we want it and now let's give it a listen. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day seven and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this set. This is day seven of setting up my drum set. Crush! Yep, 
Crash Simple Time. Let's go! Adding to the collection, we have a 17 inch Zildjian A custom crash. I gotta figure out where to put this. I have so many symbols and I don't know where to put this one. Maybe I'll just start here and maybe I'll have to move them later at some point. Well said past me. So first, let's just get the stand generally set up. Oops. And now we'll put the symbol on the stand of this really poorly shot camera angle. You'd think at this point I'd know what I'm doing, but apparently not. And then of course, slap that baby right where you want it. You missed that, didn't you? And now it's time to play. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day eight and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day eight of setting up my drum set. It is once again. Tom time! Today we're adding a 10 inch Tom to the mix. Can you let me speak? Tom time. Oh my gosh, that's loose. Thank you. So to start, we're going to add our rack mount. And then slide the Tom right on. Easy. Adjust the height a bit. And slowly down in the hole. Let's just go all the way down to the memory lock. Why not? Definitely not going to be able to put a drum on there right now. And then give it a listen. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day nine and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day nine of setting up my drum set. I did this last time, but crash. Yep, today we had another crash symbol to the mix, specifically an 18 inch Zildjian A custom crash. This one will probably end up over here as a secondary crash. Let's set up that stand. You all are probably gonna get very tired of this process. Yeah, lots of symbols to come, so a lot of the same process. Anyways, loosen the wing nut, add the symbol, make some additional adjustments. Nice! And then slap that baby right where you want it. Now let's see how it sounds. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 10 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 10 of setting up my drum set. Rack drum! Look at my rack! It's Tom time! Currently this won't fit here, because there's a cymbal in the way. Easy solution. Let's move some of the cymbals. Now I can add the drum to the mount on the bass drum and tighten it into place. Now I just need to readjust some cymbals, but now let's play. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 11 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 11 of setting up my drum set. Let's keep the train going with another floor tom, baby. It's not going to stay this short, okay? A similar process to the last floor tom, but this one is bigger. Imagine me actually playing that that short. That seems so far away and so low. And now comes the never ending adjustments to the legs to get them to the right height. Yep, yeah, not quite done yet. Continuing. We'll maybe eventually get there. Okay, now we can move it in place. All right, I think that's good. Let's hear how this beefy 16 inch sounds. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 12 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this set. This is day 12 of setting up my drum set. Splish splash, I was taking the bath. He's so small. Oh my word, that was cringe. Anyways, today we're adding a 10 inch A custom splash to the kit. Right here. Yes, Jake, very good. Let's put it right there. Just gotta figure out how we're gonna put it there. Counting hole right there. Well, that makes it easy. So let's set up this sucker. Mount the stand, put on the splash, tighten it down. Okay, that's enough. Stop, stop. Stop! Thank you. Now we just adjust the stand to get the symbol where we want it. Oh! Let's try that again. There we go. 
And now we have a splash symbol. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 13 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 13 of setting up my drum set. Yeah, we had a bit of fun with this one. Gotta find the cowbell mount. What the heck is this? Ah! Found it! Now let's connect this mount to the bass drum hoop. Oh, you know what? I'm probably gonna have to put the cowbell on before this. Because I doubt I'm gonna be able to slide it on there now. What the heck? Moment of truth, does it squeeze? Huh? It doesn't squeeze. Wah, wah. Now to do it all over again. Is it crooked? Yes. Do I mind? No. Look, it's the only way I could get it to fit, okay? Let's put this cowbell in context with the kit. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 14 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 14 of setting up my drum set. Another crash getting added, probably over here. We've seen one before, but this is another Zildjian A Custom 17-inch crash. Can't have too many, right? All right, to the corner we go. Let's get the stand generally in place. It's always fun trying to figure out these lock nuts. I have a feeling that this is locked. Lock the things in place. Oops! Yeah! Get the simple put on and the stand in place. You know how it goes. Slap that baby right where you want it. And now we gently place it where it's supposed to be. Now we have two of the same exact symbol. Oh, oh, oh. Sound check. What? Those are the same symbol and they sound different. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 15 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 15 of setting up my drum set. How about another symbol, son? Our first non-A custom symbol. We have a 9-inch Zildjian K custom hybrid splash. Let's figure out how best to mount this bad boy. We're just gonna... Perfect. We're gonna try to fit this other one right up next to it. Now watch me struggle to put this clamp on. I hate these stupid clamps. They're so hard to get on. Done. Question mark. Now we add the arm in the hole. In the hole! Like prom night! <sighs> I say that like I have any experience. Look at this. Look at how close that is to touching the bass drum. Oh god. All right, we know this routine. Simple understand good. See how that works. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 16 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of the setup. This is day 16 of setting up my drum set. For the last and final time. Da -da Finally gonna da -da add the eight inch tom to the set. What an interesting fella. This tom gonna go right in this hole. Let's mount this sucker. Easy, mount go on stand. Yes, and this mount was weirdly kind of broken. Put the drum on the stand. I don't even need to narrate this anymore. He does it in real time. Let's do something like this for now. We'll have to move that clamp, I guess. Wink, wonk, move drum. Let me see if I can adjust off camera. I said I was going to do this off camera, but instead I just made a time lapse. And it did, in fact, take a while. Close enough. That only took very long. All the toms are officially added. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Let's go. Let's check how this 8 inch sounds. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 17 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of the setup. This is day 17 of setting up my drum set. Another symbol to the arsenal. We're almost to the end of symbols. Well, kind of. We're almost to the end of symbols. Okay, I lied. We aren't really that close. But check out this 16 inch Zildjian A custom crash. Mwah! Beautiful. This one will probably go over here. We know the symbol installation process already. Stands, wing nuts, add the symbol, adjust the wing nuts again, etc., etc. Ah, memory locks. Typically, I take the memory locks off of all my drums, but I guess I'm not going to do that this time. I can go more that way. Yeah, that'll work there. That'll work perfectly. Now I have all the crash symbols. Okay, let's hear all these crash symbols as you so elegantly put it.
thanks for watching. Stick around for day 18 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 18 of setting up my drum set. Big splash! The biggest splash on the kit. That's right, we're adding a 12 inch Zildjian A custom splash. A chonk of a splash symbol. So, we have a dilemma. To get this guy to fit, we gotta move a lot of other stuff. So, time to move some symbols. Oh boy, here we go. So again, we're gonna use one of these clamps. It's probably gonna come off of here and add the symbol this way somehow. I don't know. First I adjusted the 8 inch tom mounting point. I hope that gets the drum generally in the right place. Now we start adding the cymbal mount. Oh god. And lastly I experimented moving the splash cymbals around and adjusted the mounts into place, which took quite a bit of time. I got the splashes where I want them. The crashes are nowhere near where they need to be right now. They'll get fixed later. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 19 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. What's up guys? This is Jake. I'm just making a quick little update video based on the end of that last video. Obviously, all the symbols were way out of place. Maybe the explosions got way too crazy. I don't know. But um, I just kind of wanted to show you what I did. I did work off camera and get all the symbols in place like they're supposed to be. So let me show you kind of what I did here. And so as we had before, I just kind of moved these symbols, right? So I have the nine the 10 and the 12 inch splashes here. I basically kept these symbols the same, but I moved them slightly. So this is the 16 and the 17, and then I swapped these two crash symbols. So this is now the 17 and this is the 18. Right symbol stays where it's at, hi-hats stay where they're at. So when you see in the video that the drum set has changed, this is why. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys. This is day 19 of setting up my drum set. Look at all the holes! I see you! A wacky looking symbol and our first Sabian. The 16 inch AAX arrow crash is spicy. I've organized all this so that this symbol will fit right on the end. The last time we get to set up a symbol stand. Woo! Glad that's over. Beautiful. This is gonna be hard to squeeze. And our last baby slapper. Definitely gonna miss that. Little too close still. There we go. Doesn't that front profile just look so much better? It really does. Sound check time. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 20 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 20 of setting up my drum set. What a silly little dude. As you can probably tell, I had an exceptionally good time filming the tambourine video. First, we need the tambourine mount. Let's consult the box of goodies for the mount. I think it's in here anyways. After searching the whole box, turns out it wasn't in there and it was instead just lying around with all the other mounts. And this bad boy is gonna go right over here, right by the floor, Tom. And the tambourine mount connects exactly like all the cymbal mounts. I actually don't know how this goes on here. Oh, look at that. So for those of you who may not be familiar, like me, it literally just slides in between these two pieces. Tempo time! Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 21 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 21 of setting up my drum set. An unexpected rival. Another pair of hi-hats. These are gonna be interesting to mount. I'm gonna try to get them above the ride symbol. Another set of hi-hats probably wasn't what you expected, but these 13-inch Zildjian Armand hi-hats will be a perfect second pair. All right, let's put the stand for this thing together. Nothing can go wrong, right? It doesn't go on! Oh, I'm a dork, it's backwards. Oops! Yep, of course I'd do that, but we got there in the end. Nice. This will now go on the kit. All right, I'm gonna try to get these to mount up in here somewhere. Well, I'd show you me mounting this, but all the footage was out of focus. Whoops. All right, got those hi-hats moved kind of where I want them. Now let's hear the hats. Thanks for watching. Stick around for day 22 and give a follow if you'd like to see the rest of this setup. This is day 22 of setting up my drum set. And for the last item on the kit, 
This little guy! Look at him, he's so cute! Be a man, they don't call things cute, you do. Not even gonna break out another stand for this one. He's just gonna live right on top of this other symbol. Yep, this is it. The smallest symbol on the set. A 6-inch Zildjian A custom splash. Probably the easiest install of this whole kit. And to think it's the last one. All we gotta do is remove the wing nut on the crash and add an extra felt. And with that, we have a completed drum set! Woo! Let's hear the 6-inch, shall we? I just wanted to pop in and say a huge thank you to everyone who came along this journey. This is definitely my favorite series I've put out to date, and you all seem to agree as well. And some of you may be thinking, where do we go from here? Now that the whole kit's built, why don't we install some drum heads? 